Hello, it's Sean Tuttle at The Natural Professional. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a template in Pages. Pages is Mac's word processing program that comes in the iWork package. I'm working with Pages 09. I'll show you how to add an image that will stay in the background and also how to include a style sheet so that all of your headings and titles and body fonts are the same if you have those other than what is default. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Pages, File, New, and I don't totally understand, honestly, the difference between word processing and page layout. For our purposes, they're basically the same. However, for what we want it to do, which is to keep the image in the background and not be selectable and movable, you're going to choose word processing blank and I'm going to choose the portrait format. Now I'm going to add an image so I already have one selected over here. I'm just going to drag it onto the canvas and I can move it around. I'm not a designer, this is not what my letterhead looks like. <laughs> this is for instructional purposes only. Selecting the little blue icon here called inspector gives you this window. This is the window that gives you all kinds of options. With the image selected, you might choose this one here, the graphic inspector, and change the opacity. So I'll put this one down to 50% because it's going to be background, or maybe even lower. So we'll put it down to 35%. You can add information either on the document or in the footer, for example, an address, Main Street, Anytown, CA, 99999. We'll center it, we'll give it another font. Now let's play with the fonts. For our purposes of working with the fonts, we're going to select the image and select this icon which is called Wrap Inspector. And we're going to say Object Causes Wrap is Checked, uncheck that. We're also going to say In Background, so now we can't move it. So say you know what styles you want to be using. Here's my title, font. Selecting this blue paragraph symbol here, if I select title font and call that title, this is the default font. But say I want it to be blue and I want a different font. Every time I open a new document, I don't want to have to tell it again what my title font is because this is the title font I always use. So the way that I can keep that is by selecting this little arrow here. So notice that we've got this highlight. I click the arrow and I say redefine style from selection. And now this is our new title font. So let's do one more. We'll call this our heading one font. Again, I'm going to select it. I'm going to change it to this. And I'm going to click the arrow and say redefine style from selection. We'll do one more, the body. So say I want body font to be Hofler text. This is what I do want to be dark gray and I want it to be 14. Again, I'm going to click on the arrow, redefine style and there's our new body font. To create the template, I'm going to go into File, Save as Template, and it automatically says, do you want to put it in templates, my templates? Yes, so I'm going to call this Tree Icon Letterhead. Save. So then when I go to start a new file, I'll say file, and it doesn't matter which one you choose, new or choose from the template chooser, you get to the same window. This one. So I select my templates. Here's our tree icon letterhead. I select that, choose, and here we are. 
You'll notice that I can't easily select the image, so that's just going to stay in place. And it brought forward the style sheet. So now I can just replace that and say, dear so and so, blah, 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 blah. and I can get rid of those. And then as I'm coming up with something else, I can say, important point number one. And I selected header. I, all I had to do was click on header one, and there's our header. And if it turns out you really want to change this icon, you can by background objects are selectable. And then you're going to move it. And again, you're trying to create something really consistent, so this probably isn't something you'd want to do. One final note. As far as I know, you cannot edit a template once it is saved. So, in order to give yourself some wiggle room, you're going to go back to your original document and just save it. So this is the document that we originally set up before we created the template. I'm going to say File, Save, and saving it as a regular document, right? Not as a template. So this is just a regular document. And I'm going to save this as Editable Master Template. And I'm going to save it in my regular file structure. Then, if it turns out that you want to change just one thing on your template, you can do that without having to recreate the whole thing. Okay, that's it for this tutorial.